Hello everyone and welcome to Black Sheep. I am Juice. So jumping right in, I'm just going to start off and say that I'm going to be doing a bullet journal spread with my voiceover slash face-to-face -face conversation with you. I thought it'd be really cool to do an entire spread about the bullet journaling blackout notebook by Archer and Olive. So yes, this is my blackout journal. I'm sure you will see that um, in the video. And just so you guys know, I did write an entire blog post about this as well. So if you are more of a reader than a watcher, feel free to check out my blog. I will have everything in the description from the products that I used to my social media. Take everything that I say with a grain of salt because this is all my opinion, this is what I've observed. Just putting it out there for everyone to have a detailed description of what it is like to have a blackout journal. Starting off with the pros is definitely going to have to be the thick paper. The 160 GSM is great because you can use watercolor, acrylics, and regular like paint gouache as well works really well. The papers do crinkle a little bit when you do put a lot of product on them, but nothing that's going to ruin your entire notebook or bleed onto the next page, which is extremely nice if you're more in the artsy field. Because I know some of the YouTubers tend to put another piece of paper in and the notebook tends to get a little on the thicker side. Which, who doesn't love a thick notebook? Anyways, so the second pro would definitely have to be the pen loop. I know when I'm rushing out of the door, I'm not going to think about a white pen that's going to work in this blackout journal. So it's really critical for me that that pen loop always has a pen that works with this paper, especially the blackout paper, because you can't just use any old black pen for that. So I really enjoy the pen loop on this and it's definitely a pro for me. The third pro for this one would have to be the folder in the back of the book. Pretty much every bullet journal out there has a folder that comes in the back. And I feel like it's a necessity at this point, especially if you have scrap paper or like to go on the road or like to keep your journal on the road and put in ticket stubs, stickers, things like that, stuff that you find at the store. Um, so I really like it for that. That's definitely a pro. If it didn't have it, that would definitely be on the con list. So I made sure to include that. Um, the next one would definitely have to be that the packaging of this, when you get it, of the bullet journals in general for Archer and Olive are pretty outstanding. They come so clean and so crisp and it just makes me want to buy them more, which I don't, I, I can't, I can't keep buying these bullet journals. <laughs> I already have one too many. There's, I don't know if you can see, but there's one right here in the background. So that's not even being used yet, but will be, which is why it's out on my desk. Um, the next one would definitely have to be the sleek designs. All of the Archer and Olive covers come with something really nice. They even have just plain black and navy blue ones, which I have been looking into but even the designs are extremely nice. There is a wide variety of designs that can fit multiple personalities, which is really nice. Um, and there's even the simple just black covers. So there's, there's a good mix of designs. So not only do you get sleek packaging, you get a nice option of designs to choose from. And Bonnie and Archer and Olive, Bonnie, the owner of Archer and Olive, is always coming out with new things too. So make sure you follow her. I'll put her social media in the description as well. The next thing that I really love about this book that is a breaker for any journal is how it lays flat. I cannot tell you how many times I have failed dramatically with a spiral bullet journal. It just doesn't work. Spirals and bullet journals for me personally are a no go. I mean, it, the spiral just gets in my way. I can't write properly and it's really discouraging when you're doing bullet journaling. So sorry spirals out there. My apologies, but I can't. I got, I got to have my book that lays flat. 
Number seven is going to have to be the quality of this paper. There is a con that we will talk about later about the paper, but the overall quality of this paper is extremely nice. Um, it's super smooth to the touch. It's, you know, it's not going to destroy any markers that you've probably paid quite a bit of money for. Um, and it's, it's really nice. I mean, the quality of the paper is great. Like I said, it holds quite a bit of water and you can do a lot with it. Number eight is going to have to come in with supporting women businesses. Bonnie is the main girl who I mentioned earlier who runs Archer and Olive, and she has a full team of women that help her run this show over in Fort Lauderdale. So it's super cool and inspiring to see a full team of women really just kicking butt over in Fort Lauderdale with these bullet journals. So I think that's super cool, and I love supporting women. And um, yeah, I think that was a pro. I think that was part of the reason why I was so willing to pay what I did for these journals. Um, going into number nine is the two bookmarks. I really enjoy the two bookmarks because I can work in two spreads at once. It's really nice because I don't have to pick and choose which spreads I wanna bookmark. So that's convenient. The second bookmark doesn't really get in the way, so I have no bad rep with that. Um, I, I don't know how I would feel with a third bookmark. I feel like that'd be, I feel like we'd be getting a little too serious with our bookmarks, but who knows? Maybe she could come out with a third bookmark and I love it. I'm not, I'm not going to jump to assumptions here. Coming in at number 10 is the book is 100% vegan, which means that no animals were harmed in the making of this product and there is no animal material or nothing that comes from animals was made for this journal. So that's really cool for all you animal lovers out there. Archer and Olive is actually named after two cats. So I believe it when they say that their products are 100% vegan. So definitely cool and definitely a pro for me because I love animals as well. Number 11 is bound by hand. When something is bound by hand or has that handmade vibe to it, it just makes it feel more personal to me. It makes me feel like somebody put a little more depth and effort into it and it's kind of nice, you know, something that doesn't come off of the factory machine or come off of a factory line makes you feel a little bit more enticed to buy it, in my personal opinion. So that definitely is going to have to be a pro for me as well, that there's actually some thought and some effort into that. Coming in at number 12 is how you can fix mistakes in this blackout book is just through a black marker. I know sometimes not everyone has white out and white gel pens can get a little messy. You have to wait for them to dry. Same thing with white out, but with the blackout journal, you just kind of take a black marker, scribble over your mistake and keep it moving. So everyone has a black marker, makes it super convenient. You don't have to wait for it to dry and I just love it. <laughs> so moving right into the cons, there is no numbered pages and that sucks because if I did want to number every single page, it would take me very long and my hand would cramp up and I don't really wanna do it. So I did prefer there be number pages just because the whole concept of bullet journaling implements that and you know I'm still starting out as a bullet journal and so how I learn is just through the basics. Um, I would I would like to see the number of pages but it I've worked around it pretty well so it's nothing where I'm like oh it's, it's a deal breaker for me because it's not. It's just something that's kind of like wish I wish <laughs> but you can't have everything in life that you want so that's a whole other video. Moving on to con number two is the no index. This kind of double backs with number one. Um, you can simply make an index and it would be no problem, but um, kind of just going off of that, it's time consuming and I don't want to do that if I don't have the numbered pages. So 
A lot of people in the bullet journaling community don't even use an index, but I am not one of those people. Well, I am now actually, because obviously this journal doesn't have an index. <laughs> uh, anyways, moving on. Um, some of the pages don't align perfectly, which is tough. Obviously the pages pretty much are perfect. There's just some slight ifs about them. So hopefully this comes up on camera, but if you look at the distance from this last dot to the top, and then you come over here and you look at this distance from the top, there is a very slight difference. I don't know if you can tell, but this side, this left side comes up just slightly more than on the right side. And when you're paying quite a bit of money for a journal, you notice things like that. Um, so I will have a better picture in my blog regarding the um, very slightly disaligned dots, but just so you guys can see in the video that they don't bother me, they really don't, but I know some people you know, they're very particular about those kinds of things. So I think it's important for everyone to know something like that. But as you can see there, it's nothing like the dots going <laughs> all the way up or something like that. So, but definitely still something to can take, take into consideration and definitely a con for me. But um, I think partly the whole bound by hand is, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get craftsmanship that might not be perfect, but it still has that personal touch. And, you know, I can see it both sides as it being not perfect and that craftsman craftsmanship. So definitely something to take into consideration, but something I wanted you guys to know for sure, um, especially if you're gonna be paying for one of these. So con number four would have to be the number of pages in this bullet journal. There is 160 pages in pretty much all of the Archer and Olive journals except for the 190 pages that are a little bit different in price but don't have blackout pages or all designs. So if you were get, to get more pages, you kind of limit your variety of options. Something to keep in mind, but just so you guys know, I have been in my Archer and Olive book since January and I maybe have 30 pages left. <laughs> I do use a lot of my spreads for classes as well as memory spreads, but to only have 30 pages left going on two months in a journal is kind of like what's going on? It's like question marks, if you know what I'm saying. So I personally go through pages like it's nobody's business, but it's different for everyone. So again, keep it in mind. Um, if you are somebody that does go through spreads quite a bit, I definitely recommend the 190s, but those don't come in black pages. So we'll see. Con number five is the price of these journals. I paid $38 plus the $5 shipping. And that, if you're paying over $40 for a journal, that's a lot of money, at least in my book. I'm a college student. I can get $40 worth of groceries for a week. And <laughs> yeah, so they're a little pricey for me. Obviously $50 to everybody else could be pennies, but for me, that's a lot of money. So that's definitely gonna have to be a con. However, I still buy them. So I'm not trying to be a hypocrite. I'm just saying I do wish the prices were a little lower. Bonnie does do a really good job of having sales. So if you are looking into getting a bullet journal, definitely wait for a sale. I know there's a sale going on right now, I'm pretty sure. Um, so she's super cool about sales and definitely um, being open-minded to things like that. So she's, it's good. It, there's, there's a nice middle point, <laughs> if I should say. So coming in in con number six would have to be the light gray dots. 
in my bullet journal or in my blog post, I definitely post a picture of the dots. I will show you guys here as well. You can see them there, but again, from all the way back here, they do not show up at all, <laughs> which is good. Personally, I like that. When I show people my journal, they don't see the gray dots right away unless they get up close and personal. I do find myself, however, when it's not as bright outside or if it's if I'm kind of in a dim room, kind of set in the mood for me to get some homework done, it's kind of hard for me to see those gray dots. I will say I was doing some spreads at night and I couldn't see that well and one of my one of my lines completely came off and just came all the way down to the next line, which was not fun, but um, that's why I put it under the con because obviously that was not fun and totally avoidable, but I understand why she didn't do the white dots. I think the light gray dots are um, definitely cool and a lot of fun, but they're definitely a con for me because I'm blind in general, so light gray dots is a struggle for me. Coming into number con number seven, I have the foil um, rubbing off on my journal only two months in. If you can see, I, again, there's pictures on my blog, so if it doesn't come out in videos, please feel free to check out my blog. I always um, have pictures there. But kind of on this side here, you can see some fray or some losing some foils. And then also on the sides, more specifically towards the beginning, you can see there's some foils that have been rubbed off because of how much I use my bullet journal. So when you're paying extra for foils sometimes, or you're just paying more than $40 for a journal, you kind of pay attention to those kinds of things. So definitely keep that in mind when you are purchasing your journal. But like I said, the foils are super fun. I love them. I wouldn't really trade them for anything in the world, but it does kind of suck that they're kind of disappearing on me. Coming in at number eight is the fact that you can't use a whole lot with these black pages. As you can see, I have a fun array of colors here that I cannot use in my blackout journal and it makes me a little bit sad. However, I totally knew what I was getting into when I came into this journal. So I will say if you are starting out in bullet journaling, make sure you have products that you can use in the black pages. There is a thousand videos on YouTube about what works and what doesn't in the blackout journal. I highly recommend checking that out before purchasing because it is a commitment. You have to buy sometimes extra supplies just to have, you know, enough of materials to get to have a satisfied spread. So I'm kind of missing all my Tombos. So I might, after this one, I think I'm definitely gonna switch back into some white pages just to, um, just to get my Tombos a little go around. So I put a sticky note in here the other day just to show you what kind of happens when you pull something sticky off or, um, you know, you erase a little too hard. So here's the sticky note. It's been in there for maybe a day now. I couldn't tell you. Hopefully this works. So as you can see, some black stuff is coming off and this spread is completely empty. There is no gray, no pencil markings. And obviously this isn't a lot of what's coming off, but there is definitely something coming off. And when I do washi tape, the same thing happens. If I erase a little too hard, there is some black paper, that first layer of black paper is starting to come off. So definitely take that into consideration. I mean, the paper quality is still super smooth, super soft. I love it, but I'm just super confused at how 
black black bits of paper come off and this has this is just a sticky note I mean so if you put in really quality washi tape and try to take it out you might ruin some of that first layer of paper so definitely take that into mind as well um, but other than that those are my pros and cons like I said I have everything written out with pictures on my book on my blog please follow and check out my blog as well all of my social media is going to be in the description and thank you guys so much for watching I did put a, or at least I thought I put a sticky note. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yes I did. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Which I have here unprepared. It's fine. I'll just crop this part out, no big deal. <laughs> LOL. The first pro that I really we'll start off with the cons. Actually, what do I what do I do in here? Una momento while I prepare myself for this video. So many spreads. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. And you can do a lot with it. Text me. Anyways, 